Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to voice clone almost any voice using ComfyUI. For those unfamiliar, ComfyUI is a user-friendly node-based platform for building and customizing AI workflows, particularly in generating images and audio. It allows users to visually create complex AI workflows without coding. However, today, F5 TTS is our star player, an amazing text-to-speech system that can clone voices with just 10 seconds of audio. Imagine turning text into super realistic speech that sounds just like you or anyone else. This innovative system lets you convert text into incredibly realistic speech, and I'm going to show you how to efficiently set it up locally within Comfy UI, running even on systems with just 6 GB of VRAM. The original voice cloning workflow we'll be exploring, made popular by Reddit user Tihu, demonstrated the exciting possibilities of F5 TTS. He showed how by recording speech samples in different tones and providing text prompts, the model could generate an almost exact cloned voice audio with different tone variations and styles. Just listen to these examples for yourself. This is a test recording to make an AI clone my voice. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. I've watched sea beams glitter in the dark near the Tannhauser Gate. All those moments will be lost in time, like tears in rain. This is a test recording to make AI clone my voice. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. I've watched sea beams glitter in the dark near the Tannhauser Gate. All those moments will be lost in time like tears in rain. This is a test recording to make AI clone my voice. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. I've watched sea beams glitter in the dark near the Tannhauser Gate. All those moments will be lost in time, like tears in rain. We'll be guiding you through setting up this amazing workflow in ComfyUI step-by-step -step in this video. Now, for those looking for even more features and ease of use, I've also developed an enhanced workflow specifically for my Patreon members. This advanced version streamlines the process even further, allowing you to simply upload an audio file, ideally under 15 seconds, and it automatically transcribes it using the Whisper small model, saving you the hassle of manual transcription. Beyond that, it includes the flexibility to input text directly from a TXT file for your clone voice to speak. And for creative text content generation, I've integrated Alama and Gemini API nodes, to make the setup incredibly user-friendly, especially for Windows users, there's even a one-click installer that bundles everything you need to get the enhanced workflow up and running smoothly. Both the workflow and installer can both be found on my Patreon page, but today, we'll be going over on how to set up the workflows directly in ComfyUI right on your local device. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on more awesome AI content. All right, let's move on to the installation and how to use this incredible voice cloning workflow in Comfy UI. We're going to cover two paths here. First, the super simple method for my Patreon members who have access to the one-click installer and enhanced workflow, and then we'll walk through the manual setup for the basic workflow. If you're using my premium workflow and the one-click Windows installer, the process is incredibly straightforward. Simply download the batch file and double-click the f 5 tts comfyuibat file. This handy installer will handle everything for you from downloading and installing ComfyUI itself to all the necessary custom nodes and models directly into a designated folder. Once the installation completes, all that's left is to launch ComfyUI and load the workflow file I've provided. When you first load the premium workflow, you'll notice that several sections of nodes are disabled by default. Enabling them is easy. 
Just hold down the control key, select the nodes you want to activate in a section, right click and choose bypass. Once bypassed, that section's features are ready to use. The premium workflow is structured into four main sections. The first, inherited from the original workflow, lets you record your own voice directly using a microphone to create your voice clone. Then we have the audio file loading section. This is where you can upload an audio file from your computer to use as your clone voice. For best results, keep your audio clips to 15 seconds or less and make sure the voice in the recording is clear and high quality. The workflow will automatically transcribe the speech from your uploaded audio using the Whisper small model and use this as sample text for your clone voice. After uploading your audio sample, just head to the speech text section to type in whatever text you want your clone voice to say. Once your text is ready, hit the Q button and the generation process begins. You can listen to the generated audio directly within Comfy UI using the Open Web Viewer button. Or you can find the audio file saved in the Comfy UI Outputs Audio folder on your computer. For those working with pre-written text, there's also a text file upload section. This lets you load a TXT file and use its content as the speech for your clone voice. Lastly, for those wanting AI assistance with text generation, the Alama and Gemini API section is integrated right in. If you have Alama installed and running locally, the workflow will automatically detect it and display your downloaded models in a drop-down list. Just pick a model and write your text prompt in the field above. If you prefer to use a Gemini model, you'll need to create an API key from Google AI Studio. After creating your key, copy it and then navigate to your Comfy UI directory, then to the Alama Gemini Custom Nodes folder. Open the config.json file with a text editor and paste your API key inside the quotation marks, then save. Remember to enable the Gemini node in the workflow. Select your Gemini model. Type your prompt into the text field and queue the workflow. The amazing thing is, generation is remarkably fast, often just a few seconds, even on systems with limited VRAM. I'm running this locally myself on a system with 16 GB of RAM and just 6 GB of VRAM on an RTX 4050 and it works smoothly. Now, if you're opting for the basic workflow and setting things up manually, remember this version only includes the ability to record your audio so you'll likely need a microphone. This basic workflow is directly from the Comfy UI Web Viewer node repository itself, specifically in their workflows folder which you can also explore for more workflow examples if you're curious. First, for Windows users, download the Comfy UI Portable Windows zip file from the Comfy UI releases page on their repository. This zip file includes everything Comfy UI needs to run. Use a file archiver like 7-zip to extract the contents. To install the Comfy UI Manager, navigate to the Custom Nodes folder inside your Comfy UI directory. Type CMD in the file explorer's address bar and press enter to open a command prompt in that location. In the command prompt, use git clone followed by the Comfy UI Manager's GitHub repository link to clone it into the folder. Once cloned, go back to your main Comfy UI portable Windows directory, make sure you're in the directory that contains the Python embed folder. Now run this command, which I will also leave down in the description for you to copy. This will install all the necessary dependencies for the Comfy UI Manager node. Now let's launch Comfy UI and load in the basic workflow file. I've included a download link to this workflow in the video description. When you first load the workflow, you'll probably see a lot of red nodes. This is normal, it just means we haven't installed the custom nodes it requires yet. We'll fix this using the Comfy UI Manager we just installed. Open the Comfy UI Manager from the top right menu. Click on Install Missing Nodes. You'll see a list of the custom nodes that the workflow needs. Install each of these nodes one by one until they're all installed. Once all nodes are installed, restart Comfy UI. After Comfy UI restarts and you've confirmed the necessary nodes are installed, your basic workflow should be ready to generate audio using the audio record feature. So whether you're enjoying the ease of the premium workflow or exploring the functionalities of the basic setup, you're now equipped to start experimenting with voice cloning in Comfy UI using the power of F5 TTS. Be sure to check out the links in the description for all the workflows and resources mentioned. Thank you for watching and get ready to unlock some amazing voice cloning possibilities.